Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Zadius. I'm Mimi. And I'm Myla, which is GNNN. Your Grizzly News Network today is March 27, 2023. Grizzlies, Her Club would like you to help celebrate Women's History Month by participating in a very special Her Club Spirit Week this week. Each day will have a theme that is somehow relevant and related to women. Today, we hope you are bringing out your inner queen with a crown, tiara, or a headpiece. Tomorrow will be Rosie the River Today. Break out your denim and red lipstick. On Wednesday, wear pink. Thursday is Girl Boss Day. Dress up in your most professional attire. Friday is Pajama Day against the patriarchy Day. Wear your PJs. Show your support for all the women in your life. Boys, girls, and non-binary students are all invited to participate. Zadius, you look so pretty in your crown. Thank you. Well, I hope you all are dressing up for it's Campus Week here on campus, as we have eight different colleges visiting throughout the week. Today, Oregon Tech will be here during second lunch. The school is known for small class sizes, being a leader in engineering and applied computing, but also offers healthcare, business, and communications. Then tomorrow, High Point University in North Carolina will be here during first lunch. The college guarantees all students internships and, in, uh, and tuition free graduate degrees in communication and business leadership. On Wednesday, Pacific Northwest, Co North, Northwest College of Art located in Portland, Oregon will be here during first lunch. They focus on all the arts from photography to illustration to animators. During second lunch on Wednesday, Missouri Science and Technology will be here, which focuses on research and innovation. On Thursday, Whitworth University, located in Spokane, Washington, will be here on campus during second lunch. It is a private religious school focused on liberal arts. Also during second lunch on Thursday is Weber State University, which is located in Ogden, Utah. Finally on Friday, Campbellsville University in Kentucky will be here on campus during first lunch. It is a private four-year school. And during second lunch on Friday, Montana State University will be here. It is a top research institution which capitalizes on the wilderness around the school to assist in their labs. Make sure to check out some colleges this week. Big shout out to our Spring Valley Performing Arts programs who went to competition last week. Our orchestra, guitar ensemble, and three of our dance performances were awarded superior rating at their festivals. Way to go, Grizzlies! Our IB 10th graders have been working all year on Project Y, and every year our students show off their accomplishments at our Project Y exhibition. Please join us in the school gym tomorrow from 6 to 7.30 p.m. to share this exciting evening and see what our students have accomplished. Along with Project Y, the Diploma Program Visual Arts seniors will also be displaying their art exhibitions on the same night in the Auxiliary Gym. The exhibition will so showcase a collection of different mediums and themes from the, the, the Diploma Program Visual Arts seniors. We look forward to seeing you there. This is your chance to get, give back and help clean our school. If you want to help the environment right here at school, Environmental Club will be hosting a campus cleanup at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. Meet them in room 923 and come help beautify our school. Little Armenia meets every Wednesday at 2.01 p.m. in room 806, a safe place for one-on-one -on -one support and differing opinions. Learn about Armenian culture and language. If you have questions or need additional information, contact at underscore little underscore Armenia underscore on Instagram or email Ms. Blomdahl. Did you know there's a club here on campus that allows you to tap into your creativity? Ben, Derek, and Carlos show us Ceramics Club. Spring Valley is home to many unique clubs that students are able to join. Ceramics Club is one of them. In Ceramics Club, students are able to make 3D art with clay. So in Ceramics Club, students can basically make whatever they want. So we have everything going in here from like we got four people on the potter's wheel, we got a lot of people working by hand. We create and use our own imagination to come up with all these designs. Not only draw them out, but then actually make them come to life with the clay. 
ceramics. There are many different reasons for people to like ceramics. My favorite things about ceramics are uh, that I can just let my creativity go. I can imagine something and I can build it. It's, it's a fun class. I could like, it's like peaceful, it's therapeutic, it's very... Yeah, it's really nice. So, what I really like about ceramics is that it's a three-dimensional art form and that it's very <laughs> physical and solid. You can use it for something functional or it can be something decorative in your house. Right, ceramics can help people unlock their artistic side even if they feel if they are not artsy. Let's say, for example, a kid that really struggles with the drawing wouldn't necessarily struggle with ceramics. And then, also, one thing that I like is that it's kind of like a problem-solving process. I, me personally, I'm not artsy. Like I don't have like an art side, so like it's kind of difficult for me. But Mr. Vasquez is really helping me out with my artistic side and really being like detailed with my work. And I have a wonderful teacher, Mr. Vasquez, to help out anyone and just provide the guide to make our dreams come true with this clay. Students can come into ceramics every Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. and have fun and be creative. If you are interested in ceramics, you can check them out this Wednesday at 2 p.m. in room 318. Seniors, what better way to celebrate your hard work from these past years than on grad night? The Six Flags grad night will cost you $200, which will cover the bus ride and will get you into the park, along with a t-shirt, a dinner, and other souvenirs. Grad night is Friday, May 19th, but you must secure your spot by April 14th. Make sure you pay the banker, and the buses le will leave Spring Valley at 1 p.m. on May on May 19th, and seniors will be in the park all night long until they board the bus for home at 5 a.m. on Saturday. It's also time to choose your graduation song. This is your chance to help decide the song that will help you remember your senior year. Scan the QR code to vote, or you can find the Google form on Instagram at svhs underscore seniors underscore 23. You only have until this Thursday at 2 p.m. to vote. There are some important dates for seniors to keep in mind as, the, as we wrap up the school year. Senior Awards Night will be May 3rd, where we celebrate all the accomplishments of our outstanding seniors. Then on May 18th, seniors will celebrate their senior sunset. Grad Night is the next night, Friday, May 19th. And finally, graduation will be May 22nd at 6 p.m. at the Thomas and Max Center. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Mimi, how did the swim team do? Our swim team did an excellent job on Saturday at the Pavilion Pool. Our women's team scored 104 against Sunrise Mountain, who scored 22, and our men's team scored 127 against Sunrise Mountain, who scored 0. We had first-time swims by Alexa, regional time in 5A, boys by Diego swimming in the 50 free, and Sarah made the regional time in 4A in the 200 free. Congratulations to our men's volleyball team for bringing home a win against Durango on Friday. You can watch them take on the court later this week. This week in spring sports, today varsity baseball will play at home against Rancho at 3.30 and men's volleyball will face off against Mojave at Mojave with B team and JV at 5 and varsity at 6. Tomorrow varsity softball will be up against Cimarron Memorial at Cimarron at 3.30 and JV baseball and JV softball will play at Desert Oasis at 3.30. Then on Wednesday, JV Baseball and JV Softball will play against Bishop Gorman here at home at 3.30, and track will have a meet at Liberty at 4.30. On Thursday, men's volleyball will play at home against Valley with B-team and JV at 5 and Varsity at 6. Varsity Baseball will play at Liberty at 3.30, and JV Baseball and JV Softball will go against Green Valley at home at 3.30. On Friday, Varsity Softball will play at home against Chaparral at 3.30, and track will have a meet at Desert Oasis all day. And Saturday, JV Baseball and Softball will play at Centennial at 3.30 and Swim will be at the Multi-Generational Pool at 1.30. Good luck to all our Grizzly athletes. Now here's Brooklyn with today's weather. This week's weather is expected to remain pretty consistent, with today's weather temperatures reaching an estimated high of 61 degrees and a low of 43 degrees. Wind speeds will fall between 5 to 10 miles per hour and there will be a 0% chance of rain. Do you ever wonder how Lake Mead gets its extra water? Well, recently Colorado has experienced an uprise in snowpack levels by the mountains, with levels reaching 150%. As spring is up ahead, the snow levels have been triple the regular amount after snowmelt. It will feed into rivers, streams, and reservoirs such as Lake Mead that will be providing water for 40 million people. While it may seem beneficial to make Lake Mead's water rise levels, it's not. The levels are cons pretty consistent. And it would take much more snow to see a difference. 
Student Council is working with a local group to host a food drive to feed the homeless. The drive started last week and will continue until April 6. There will be boxes for collection of non-perishable items in teachers' classrooms or in room 503. Here's a list of items that they're in need of, everything from hygiene products to blankets and sleeping bags to non-perishable food. Looking for a summer job and not sure what options there are? The Las Vegas Water District has job, summer job opportunities to high school students ages 16 to 18. They have job positions such as administration, custodial, laboratory, mechanical, and mail services. If you're interested, the pay is $15 an hour and the application deadline is April 20th. CSN Workforce and Economic Development is hosting a Career and Job Expo April 6 from 7 to 4 to 7 p.m. at Cheyenne Campus. Check out the flyer for more information. Job Expo. This was Zadius, Mimi, and Mila of, of the, the Grizzly, Grizzly News Network. Network. Have, Have a marvelous, marvelous Monday, Grizzlies. Grizzlies.